Hi, this is my user review of the Shoei X Spirit 2. I've had this helmet for about a year now and done about 10,000 miles and I have to say that the helmet is pretty much perfect or close to perfect anyway. Uh, the previous helmet that I owned was a Kberg Trip, so obviously the gap between the two of them are, is quite big. I mean, the Kberg cost me about £100, and this one cost me £500. Um, in terms of comfort, I've gone on two hour to three hour rides, and I've got off the bike, taken the helmet off, and I've had no pain in my head whatsoever, and also my neck wasn't fatigued at all. This is Shoei's uh, flagship model, so it has a few features. I'm not sure if these features are on all their helmets, but this helmet has these emergency tabs where you can remove the cheek pads, and that's so if the rider is unconscious after an accident, the emergency services can take the helmet out without straining the neck too much. It also has this uh, visor lock system, um, if you push it down like that, down there, uh, it locks the visor in place so you can't lift it up whatsoever. Uh, if you have it in a neutral position, if I can get it there, yep, uh, you can lift the visor up and down. It's a bit stiff so I can't actually push it with one hand. And if you do that, it breaks the seal so it lets a bit of air in. Uh, just put that back normal. Um, it has uh, good ventilation, this helmet. Uh, it's got a mouth slash chin vent there. Uh, can't put it back up. It's got a forehead vent there. You just open it like that. It's got a vent on the top. You just open it like that. And it's got a vent on the back. It really does keep me cool in the summer, this helmet, I have to say. Uh, also, it's got a spoiler on the back. I can't say I've utilised that. I mean, I do only ride a Ninja 250, so I don't really hit uh, high speeds at all. Um, this helmet also does have a pin lock system, and what that does is reduces the fog by quite a bit. Well, it doesn't actually fog up at all, and I can see how well it's the system's working. Or by comparing the amount of fog that is round here and the amount of fog that's there, which is virtually zero compared to a lot of fogging there. Um, I'd say that this helmet is, as I said, pretty much perfect and I'd recommend it. Although it is rather expensive, I paid £500 for it, but if you think about it, helmets last for around five to seven years. It's a good long term investment. I can't see any reason as to why I'd want to replace it. Of course, if I have an accident, I will have to replace it, but it's perfect.